Hey, what's going on, boys? It's your boy, C God, and we're back once again, let me tell you, on this Lincoln build. So, with this thing, as you've seen in the previous video, we got her all aligned in the front, and uh, I want to show you exactly the difference it made with this alignment. So, check this out, brothers. This here is our rear wheel, correct? But it was on the front originally. Now, you see the tire? Toe worn to crap, right? This was after one week of daily driving it, you know, around town and to work. And as you can see, I mean, any more of that and shortly the tire would have been done. Now the up front is what we got now, boys. And this is after the same week of daily driving, going to work, highway speeds, etc. And I mean, as you can see, I mean, it's not nearly as bad uh, we did wear a, a bit, you know, but not terribly. As you can see, brand new. It has these little tread wear markers. And I mean, I can barely fit a fingernail above them. And now we're pretty much to them. Hopefully you guys can see that. Very, very minimal wear. I mean, it is wearing, obviously. It's not going to be 100% perfect. Especially with this amount of camber. As we found out in the previous video when we first did it, this is about positive 10 degrees. So, I mean, it is a bit extreme. This side is wearing just about the same, maybe slightly less than the other side, but pretty much the same. Now, I mean, mind you, you know, these are old tires. You can see the sidewalls all cracked and everything. So we're kind of just trying to perfect our, our methods here and we'll get new tires put on once we're good and solid with the setup but yeah boys i think we made good progress that's after a week highway driving all types of driving honestly around town just cruising it and it's not nearly as bad as the rears boys man it's like a huge improvement it's crazy look how worn that is now, I will say, I did have these wheels on for a tiny bit of time whenever it was still on the one inch extension for the upper arms. But, I mean, as soon as I could, I pretty much put it on that two inch to get this bulldog stance that you see before you today. So, yeah, guys, that's how you do it. Put on your toe plates and hope for the best. Now, I mean, obviously, it's an old car, probably a lot of original suspension in here. So, I mean, I can't really judge it, you know. It's got 225,000 miles. So, everything in here isn't of the best quality or, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's not fresh. So, with that being said... It is not a hundred percent perfect alignment <laughs> sorry i was watching this guy ride by on his road glide but uh yeah boys it does work like i said we made a drastic improvement um on the highway speeds i've taken it up to like the speedo says 100 you know but it's probably only like 85 or so but um yeah i mean it'll boogie still rides decent on the highway um I will say it kind of pulls to the left a little bit and I don't know if that's due to obviously you know the self alignment I did or whether or not that's because like the suspension itself like picks itself up at different levels you know like it's not 100% perfect I try to eyeball it when I drive you know but yeah you guys know what it is but yeah I just wanted to give you guys an update on this let you guys know that it really does work um i will say whenever i did it i had the car positioned like this in the driveway and uh i don't know if you guys are able to tell but my driveway has like a slight bit of slope so what i did was after i drove it i brought it back and i actually reversed in and then kind of drove forward and then let the car settle that way it would be more of like a regular driving position because i'm sure whenever you're driving all the ball joints and everything kind of settle a different way you know whenever you go from forward to reverse and whatnot so whenever you come here put it in park the car rolls back just a little bit and it fucks the alignment up but uh yeah so i brought it in reverse i checked it and instead of being two inches towed in i was like one inch towed out 
So I did have to adjust it again. And I did the same thing just with the car facing the other direction. I think the best way would just be like a perfectly level surface to align it. That way the car doesn't move at all from driving position. But we work with what we got, you know? So with that being said, that's pretty much going to be it guys this is just a short video letting you know that it has made a huge improvement you can rock your two inch extensions on a daily driven car i mean you know i'll probably get i don't know i guess we'll try it out but i'm thinking i'd be able to get at least like a month and a half to two months of usage out of it and i mean if that's the case then i'll cop these tires let's see how long these run I mean, I'm surprised they haven't exploded yet. Let me show you guys the manufacturing date on one of them so you guys can see that I'm not messing around. I don't know exactly where it's at though. Damn, I can't find it. Well, either way, the manufacturing date is 2004 on these bad Johnnies. So yeah, they're really old. But like I said, if I can get, you know, a month and a half to two months out of that, then I'll run the new set of tires in the front and then obviously after like two months or so i can flop it so i'll be able to get four months out of tires running a two inch tuck brothers so that's kind of the idea that we're trying to get you want to be able to daily it have fun use it you know like i said this is literally my daily i take this john to work every day so you know what are you gonna do but uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i know it was short but i was just trying to explain to you guys that it's a lot better and uh yeah so i'll catch y'all in the next one make sure to like comment subscribe and i'm gonna be out Deuces.